let's do this. Welcome, game developers. I'm Poppers. Two guns teaches you important games. Yeah, okay. Uh, sorry for the past two weeks. The first weekend, I was just straight. Well, no, I had to... Well, the first weekend, I had to work on the class uh, for Android Java programming. The second weekend, I was just dead. But, uh, yeah, I kind of have an announcement to make. You want to do the thing first? Yeah. So, um, in this tutorial, we're going to be doing instant hitting projectiles, last cannons, where uh, we have, we basically, how it's going to work is like this. First, we have to have a charge up time. Uh, so, obviously, that means we're going to be doing a, what you call it? Fuck. God damn it. Shit. Timeline. Then, we're going to, because um, we need to do a charge up thing. Then, the last cannon will fire. So, that means we're going to have to use a cable and basically set its endpoint equal to the hit location. That said, uh, let's get started. So I'm not going to be using the, the tactical marine, I'm just going to use the first person character because fuck it. Um, let's go in here. So pay no attention to this because I'm basically going to be working from the uh, fucking middle mass rule. Uh, we're uh, going to be working from this from scratch. So in our viewport, we need to grab our gun. Uh, it doesn't matter, you can follow along with the, 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 you can follow along with the tactical marine if you want. I'm just sick of having to fuck around with the, um, shit. Pop, 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 pop. I'm just sick of having to fuck around with the, the, the pivots and all this and that and the misaligned shit. I'm not doing that. So, anyway, in our first person char uh, character, we want to make sure we grab the first person gun, not the VR one. And in it, we will actually add a component. This will be a sphere. Our sphere will act as the charge-up thing. Under its parent socket, I'm going to click on the search, and then I'll just put it on muzzle. And then I'm just going to scale this thing down to... Uh, point to... Actually, point oh, uh, point oh 0.02... Yeah, point oh 0.02, point oh 0.02. Why that? Why so little? Because the... And I'll move this up. Because the timeline is basically going to scale this out, and we're going to have to fuck around with the values. Anyway, so now in the event graph, uh, on fucking fucking whatever, on event graph, we're going to we're going to make a variable and say is fired. Um, yeah, on the event graph. So let's get the so let's get this shit out of the way, and then on top of that, we got to add a, a cable. So, I'm going to add components, I'm just going to type in cable. Cable, I'm going to make sure that, I'm going to go into the search, I'm going to make sure the gravity scale is set to zero. I didn't know cables have gravity. Nah, they do. Then, uh, and I'm just going to call this LAS cable. Uh, on its end location, I'm, you know what, I'm fine with its end location because we're going to, because it's going to be invisible anyway. You can, you can set it to zero if you want. I mean, I'll just put it at 100, mainly because I can. Uh, cable length. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm, I'll, I'm fine leaving it like that. So what do cables exactly do? Uh, they're mainly aesthetic. If you want to do something with them, you can. You could basically do whatever the hell you want. There's no real... I'm going to, under number of sides, make it 16, uh, just to have it rounded out. And you can attach. You can have uh, whatever the hell you want with it. I'm not going to give it a texture. Um, but yeah, cables are mainly aesthetic. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there's nothing really uh, you can do. There's nothing. There's not, the only other thing that we want to modify is its visibility. It's going to be invisible. Uh, so now, in the event graph, we'll first build it out. Then we'll error check. So, on press, we're going to add timeline. And this timeline will be, I'll just call it charge up. Wow, wait a spell. I don't care. I'm going to add a float track. And last cannons do take its sweet time to actually, like, you know. So I'll just set this for four seconds. What? Ew, no. Undo. Uh, delete that. I said delete. Del delete. Ugh. Delete. There. So I'm just gonna hit four. 
Uh, and then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna hit shift click twice. This one will be at four seconds, and I will put it at 0.5. And wait, where the hell? Wait, where's my cursor? Where is your cursor? Why is that invisible? I'm, there we go. That was weird. Anyway, uh, this will be zero zero. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure the horizontal view, etc., is is golden. I gotta collect. I gotta click on both of these bad boys. Just curve it. Auto curve. I don't really care. Um, on update, we want to get our other sphere. So I'll just, I'll just call this charger. Charger sphere. We're gonna get this. On update, we will then uh, get relative scale 3D. And then what we're going to do is we are going to plus this by a, oh come on, plus this by a float on update. And then we're gonna set relative scale 3D. And it's gonna be equal to that on update. Why? Um, okay, so essentially what we're doing is we're taking the float and we're adding it to the entire scale, which right now is, should be, um, is 0.2 up, I think. 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.02. Okay. So we're adding 0 0.5 to that. Essentially, yeah. And then you're gonna have to modify this value. On finished, what we want to do is we want to take this sphere and we want to set visibility. We want to set its new visibility to invisible. We also want to set relative scale 3D. I'll set it to point of, uh, point of 0.02 again. I'm gonna plug that into that. And on finished, we want to line trace by channel. Start is going to be uh, get first person camera, camera component. If you're using the tactical marine, you basically get the capsule component, like I did in the Attack on Titan tutorial when I did the Thunder Spear. Uh, not the Thunder Spear, the shit, 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 shit. Uh, what the hell is it called? The RDM gear. Thank you. Yes, the RDM gear. Anyway, so <clears throat> we get world location, and we plug this into start, and then we get forward vector. And we want to multiply this by a float. Now, this range, uh, I'm just going to put it at 8,000. Why 8,000? Well, last cannons, last cannons have by default like a 72 inch range, so they, they, they're fucking, they're, they're massive. Okay. All right. So then what we want to do is we want to take this return value, and we want to add these two vector, uh, add these two vectors together, and that'll be our end trace. Okay. What then we want to do is break hit results. So, uh, if we're hitting anything, doesn't matter what we hit, branch it out. If we hit anything, right, uh -huh. what we want to do is we want to uh, scroll down, get the last cable. First thing we want to do is set visibility. We want to make it new visible. And then we want to set and I think it's end location I, I just did an experiment on this hold on let me double check yeah set end location okay so we want to split this struct pin and we want to make sure that location is with the X yep so we want to take the location break this vector plug the X into the X and then what we want to do is we want to delay it by 0.2 seconds or something like that. Doesn't matter how long of a delay you want, so long as there is a delay. Um, and we want to set its visibility again. So if we compile and play this, I am, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm possessing you. Okay, so if we play this. Good. Okay. 
What the hell was that? I completely forgot to toggle the collision. Toggle the collision? Yeah. We gotta go to charge up sphere, make sure that... Ew, no. Uh, make sure that, uh... Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Viewport. Yep, you're put on Uh, yeah. Scroll down, under block all dynamic, make sure no collision is set. So that way we're not colliding with our, with, with n that way nothing's colliding with the sphere. Okay. Right. So now, if we try this again, it's charging up. There we go. Wow. Um, is there any way we can, like, not? What do you mean? Yeah, it's, um, I think... Like the scale. Yeah, the scale is huge, isn't it? So what we want to do, let's just play this from the beginning. Play this from start instead of play. And then here, we can, instead of 0.5, because it's adding 0.5 to it regardless. Is there any way we can, like, not? Um, yeah. Let's do, let's do, V interpret to. Alright. Current and this can be the current and this can be the target. Uh huh. Delta time we can just get world delta seconds. Uh huh. And interp speed can be that. Okay. And then instead of that we can just add these two together. Will that work? Uh, probably. Probably. Yeah, this is untested. Okay. Let's try this again. Ew. Oh god, I crashed Unreal. Um, what? Yeah, I crashed Unreal. What the fuck do we do? Uh... Hmm. Doop -doop -doop -doop. Let's just plus this. Okay. <laughs> Just to be on the safe side. And there we go. Oh, that way we can like not. Um, because it's adding 0. 0.5 to it regardless. What you can do if you really want, uh, instead of 0. 0.5, 0. 0.02, and then in, uh, and then if we play. Oh, okay, that's a lot better. Yeah. So we can fuck with that number even more. So instead of point oh two, you could just say like point zero zero one. That's like next to nothing. Yeah, I know. All right, split. Oh, oh, yeah. So you mentioned. You mentioned that this. Okay, so on. So we have to check. We gotta get this. I wanna branch this out. If is fired is false, then we play from start. Why? Um, because now we gotta do some error checking. You don't wanna just. First of all, you don't wanna spam this. Last cannons are heavy weapons. We wanna make sure that is moving is set to false too. Let me check. Uh, is moving. Yep, get is moving. I want to make sure that's set to false. So you can't move. If we're moving and we press this, then, um, um, then, yeah, then this won't even work. So it won't even fire. See? Because we're moving. Oh, shit. Yeah, because we're moving. I saw the cable move. I thought I saw the cable thing go. <sighs> Is that a problem? Um. Mm. Probably not. Ah. Uh, do we really need? Uh, I mean, like, cause I gotta do. Cause I do have to fine tune this. I gotta fine. T I can't just fine tune it uh, next week either. <sighs> Fuck it. Like, just keep going with. Uh, keep going with the stuff. So if is fired is false, right, then this can actually 
this can actually execute. However, on finished, on a set is fired to true. Why? So that way, this will not execute. So that means we can only execute it once. I didn't necessarily say that, because we can delay like uh, three seconds and set is fired to false. Because there has to be a cooldown time. So, in here, if we release, if we're released, and is fired is equal to false, on true it doesn't matter, because if, if it's, however, if it's false, and we're trying to fire, just stop the animation altogether. So we're going to have to play from start regardless. So if I try it, on, uh, uh, but why is it visible? Oh, that's because we didn't set its visibility. Okay. Oh, do, we, do we do that here? Yep. Set visibility. And then plug that in to false. And then make sure its set scale is 0.02. Set relative scale 3D. 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.02. Let's plug this into here. Plug that into stop. And in here. Instead, I'm just going to make this 0 0.009. So that way it has a little bit of, uh, more of a charge of factor. Come on, it's going, it's going. Here. Yeah, it's still running. Hmm. Hmm. It could be because I didn't set is moving to true while the character's actually moving. Ow. Is that, is that, yeah, it's probably it. So, let's go here, and let's see, uh, on fire, reload, da, da, da. axis, yaw input, controller input, da, da, da. Da, da, da. Cause what's probably happening is, in here, when you're actually moving, moving, Let's just find the axis turn, look up, uh, turn right, look up right, find axis, okay, let's just go to move forward. Okay. Yep. I have to set is moving to true. Is moving. equals true, yeah, true, so let's save and build, so this will only move, so this will only activate while I'm moving forward and backward, okay, yeah, that's got to build, yeah, because that's why it wasn't running, ow, Oh, that's why the thing wasn't. Yeah, because uh, I actually don't set it. So I, I don't set is moving to true or whatever while I'm actually press, pressing the keys. Okay, so let's try this again. Doop doop boop. Oh, it's not. It's not activating. Nope. Is it gonna activate now? Nope. Why? Because I stopped moving. Because I didn't. T when I when I release the key, when you release the key and you don't actually say it is uh, set is moving to false, then yeah. So what? Are we, how are you gonna fix it? Um, you can fix it in. in no, you can fix it in. Um. Uh. Let's go look here. Well, actually, I guess we can fix it here too. Like I can just like, uh, boop boop. Just uh, comment it out, pre-build. 
Why are you commenting? Because you can actually, there's another way you can, like, uh, do this. Like, in, right click, tick. Under our tick events. Ah, shit. Fucking mouse wheel is dead. Uh, get player controller. Right? Uh -huh. Is key input key down. And we can just say W. And you basically have to on true. Uh, set is moving to true. You want to set is moving to true. Etc. 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 Oh, really? Yeah. And, uh, it's a, is key input key released. And it's like W. And then branch that out. Plug that into false. Set is moving to false. Oh. So essentially, you'd have to do that for W A S D. So you have to say, okay, if this key's down, um, then do this. If key's down, da, da, da. and you can base it, and instead of uh, just linking it up like this, you can just do a, uh, a sequence that executes it all entirely. So if I'm pressing, if I'm pressing W and I'm trying to, and I can't, as you can see, there's nothing, nothing is firing. All right, but if I'm releasing it. And I hold. There we go. Okay. And yeah. There's some fine tuning that we have to do. Like what happens when you're hit with the last cannon, because the last cannons have instant death. So instant death will kill will instantly kill, no matter how much health you have, etc. Ah, uh, you might as well make that announcement. Yeah. Okay, so people, the announcement is this. Um, I, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take two months off while I'm teaching for UCSD, mainly because UCSD kind of knows what I'm doing in terms of like the tutorials. That I had a Zoom call with my boss, and my boss, he didn't, he didn't explicitly. They know what I'm doing. They know the tutorials, and it's it's quite clearly a conflict of interest because I'm gonna be working for them, and I'm doing this. They don't like that. The only reason, the only reason why they probably let me get away with this for so long was because a, Mad Hen House is still a small outfit. B, uh, as far as I know, UCSD doesn't have a game design curriculum. And C, uh, um, uh, the like, they don't care about game design and development. If that makes any sense. But like, the message was clear when we were talking. Like, hey, yeah. Uh, um, the tutorial, so you're doing the tutorials, I noticed you didn't, you, didn't, you didn't do the tutorials, and I'm just like, oh, the company failed, da, 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 da. but yeah, so, this is mainly because of self-preservation, I do not want to lose my UCSD teaching job, because I actually, A, I love it, and B, it's, it's good money, so, for the time being, until this class is, uh, over, um, I can't make any more UE4 tutorials, I will, however, and this is a wishy-washy slope too, because I have to make uh, videos on Android Java programming, so I'm gonna have to be focusing on that too. Um, so if any of you want to learn and how to Android Java program, you can, because I'll, I'll post them on on uh, on the Mad Hen House channel, which I uh, which like, comment, and subscribe. Speaking of, like, I really should, uh, yeah, yeah, because you're actually gonna be like full-on professional teacher. Even. Yeah. So, no narrator, no cursing, none of that shit. Uh, that said, that's how you do a last cannon in terms of instant hitting projectiles. You do a charge up, and um, once the thing's charged up, just do a line trace, and, you know, use a cable to essentially do that. And that's actually how you do lasers in general. Well, one of the ways. Well, one of the ways, yeah. Uh, anyway. That said, uh, edit here, narrator, and there you have it, boppers and game developers. Tune in and when, when, uh, November 19th, well, past November 19th, the, November 19th is the last day of class that I gotta teach, so, yeah, actually, November 20th, I guess. What's gonna happen on November 20th? Uh, 
mainly we're going to be doing Space Marine, more Space Marine abilities, so like the Assault Marine Jump, the Space Marine Hover tutorial, eventually we'll do Necron's reanimation protocols, Deep Strike, uh, I still owe people a motorcycle tutorial. All right. Um, all the more re wait, so, I, Unreal 5, Unreal Engine 5, the, uh, that's where I decided I'm gonna do the, the Souls-like, maybe, maybe, turn-based JRPG combat, because that's something I gotta, that's something I've been, I asked Captain K for advice on that, and he was like, do you, I, I, I'd be fine with that, like, he, he would be fine learning that, but, like, that's not, because yeah, JRPG style turn based combat, that's not gonna be an issue. That's that's nothing. That's easy shit. Um, it's just it boils down to a lot of like uh, blueprint editing, uh, uh, widget, uh, widgets, etc. Uh, etc. Et there are a couple challenging bits. Like if you want to use uh, controller support, we can talk about that. But like the thing is, I don't know um, if I want to do that in UE4 or UE5, and even then. Um, I might hide behind a paywall with that. I'm still, like, debating, because those are going to be lesson plans. Oh, the lesson plans are coming back. Yeah, under the advice from the marketing guy, I'm going to do that. But I've been learning UE5 on the side. Anyway, um, that's something i got to discuss with basically everybody. Anyway, um, so why teach, um, why still teach on Unreal 4? What do you mean, why? There won't be a public release for Unreal Engine 5 until, like, 2022. And even then, they're saying it might be early. Right now, Unreal Engine 5 doesn't e doesn't even qualify. Uh, uh, the versions of UE5 that's open to the public right now doesn't even have production quality build. You can't make apps or games with it right now. Um, and even then, like Unreal Engine 4 still still has a shitload of support. So of course, people are still of course Epic and uh, Epic just released 4.27, and they still say use Unreal Engine 4 for your game design needs. So, your game development needs. So, there's clearly still a need to use UE4. I just don't know if I want to put the turn-based combat and uh, in UE4 or UE5. And even then, I might hide behind the paywall with that. Because that, those are lesson plans, not tutorials. Okay, right. well, uh, tune in November 20th for the next um, Unreal Engine tutorial involving 40K.